always tracking, always alerting. Here's your StormTrack 15 weather. All right, Adam Olivier is standing by because, oh man, Adam, you're going to be standing a lot. You got a lot of work to do over the next three days. Yeah, we have a lot that's going to be happening here within the next 24 hours, really, yeah. Scott, where flooding rains will be very possible here in Acadiana. We have a flood watch that has been issued from 6 p.m. tonight until 6 p.m. Wednesday for mainly areas north of I-10. Now, if you're down around the coast and you look at this and you say, ah, I don't need to worry, I'm not under a flood watch. That's wrong because we could still see some very heavy rain even down towards our coastal areas. It's just more likely that the heaviest rain falls to the north. Two to four inches of rain, locally higher amounts. This is how it all plays out today. Mainly some showers to track, not looking at a lot of heavy rain. But tonight, after midnight, those heavy storms move in and that will lead to a flood threat developing tomorrow. This is the culprit a system back out into Texas that's going to stall out and surge a line of storms our way. Unfortunately, instead of them continuing to the east, they're going to put on the brakes, lose steam right on top of us. So while radar is quiet right now, it's about to get a lot more active. We've had some showers across the area earlier in the morning time. Those have gone and have been replaced with fog, a very dense layer of fog out there across much of Acadiana. We can't see downtown from our Hub City Tower camera. So you're going to want to leave a little extra drive time this morning as uh, you know, the fog can really cause some issues there on the roadways. Temperatures are in the lower 60s. It is cool. It is damp. But going through the day today, we're actually going to see a mixture of sunshine out there with some clouds and a few showers. Now that rain chance through the day today, about 40%. But as we get into the evening time, it kind of quiets down and in fact won't really seem like there's anything that's coming our way. However, we get past midnight and into the early morning hours on your Wednesday and look at this line that moves on in at 6 a.m. Now, as I mentioned, typically these will continue to move along. OK, we pick up an inch of rain and that's that. But this line doesn't. It stalls somewhere here, either on the western side of Acadiana, maybe the eastern side, somewhere across our region and it is going to pump a lot of rain into the area. Midday, still tracking that heavy rain potential. 3 p.m., we may get a bit of a break, but then watch what happens in the evening time frame. Another round develops, and this is why I say, even if you're down around the coast and you're like, oh, I'm not in the flood watch, you still need to pay attention because look, this line just parks itself on top of us into Thursday morning. 6 a.m. Thursday, we're still tracking that heavy rainfall potential. Finally, by midday Thursday, it looks to get on out of here. But in that time frame, this is what we could see. A total of five plus inches of rain. Now, I think this is on the upper end of things. I don't want you to look at this and say this is gospel. I'm going to see 15 inches of rain. But the potential is there for some significant rain totals across the area that could cause some flooding around Acadiana if that all comes down at once. The flood threat beginning tonight into tomorrow morning is a level two, but on the day tomorrow, it becomes a level three. So we are going to see that higher potential for flooding across the area that goes into Thursday morning. Now, Thursday afternoon, we should dry out. We'll get another round of storms Friday into early Saturday morning, but then we'll clear out for the rest of your weekend turning colder. But right now, download that News 15 weather app so you can track the storms, get alerts, and also do not drive through any flooded roadways. Adam, let's backtrack real quickly over time frame. So the really, really heavy stuff, you're looking 5, 6 o'clock tomorrow morning? Yeah, it looks like tomorrow around 5, 6 a.m. Yeah. it'll start, and then it just kind of stays with us all day long. And is this going to be a, a slow-moving system? Or? Absolutely. It's oh, just parking so, itself right on top so of us until So you're going to get Thursday. a lot, a lot. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you, Adam. Thank <laughs> you.